Hey, this is uh, Ponce. I am currently on the public test realm. It just came up. So uh, I'm trying to get out uh, this uh, Nami ability spotlight thing as quickly as possible. Not in a real game. I'm just here to show you guys uh, basically what this champion does. So let's get away from this minion wave for a moment and just uh, find a quiet place to sit while I show off her abilities. Um, first, let's start with her passive. It is uh, called Celerity. When Nami's abilities hit allied champions, they gain plus 45 movement speed for 1.25 seconds. That seems to be static. I don't think it's changed. I could be mistaken, but I think it's just that all the way through the game. Her first ability, her Q, is Hydro Blast. Sends a bubble into the air towards a targeted area. When it lands, deals 75 plus uh, 15... Or Basically, deals 75 damage to all enemies in the area of impact and encases them into bubbles. Enemies hit by the bubbles are lifted into the air and stunned for 1.25 seconds before they, uh, before being dropped to the ground. Uh, when you level it, the damage increases and uh, the cooldown gets shorter. Uh, next ability, her W, is Surging Tides. Unleashes Surging Tides that alternates between allied and enemy champions. On ally hit, heals for 110 damage and will bounce to a nearby enemy champion. On enemy hit, deals 130 magic damage and bounces to nearby allied champion. So basically it jumps back and forth between things. And when you level it, the healing gets better, the damage gets better, and I think the cooldown gets better, but I can't remember. Um, her E is Aqueous Empowerment. Empowers an allied champion for 5 seconds or until they've attacked 3 times. Their basic attacks deal 55 bonus magic damage and slows the target by 25% for 1 second. So basically you buff an ally, they get extra damage, and they can slow. Um, it works quite well in conjunction with a passive probably, where you speed up your allies with the spells and they're slowing the enemy down. Uh, and her ultimate is Tidal Wave. Summons a Tidal Wave outward for Nami's position. The tidal wave, briefly knocks up, tidal wave briefly knocks up enemies that it comes in contact with and slows them by 60% and deals 150 magic damage. The slow duration increases based on how far the tidal wave has traveled, with a minimum duration of 3 seconds and a maximum of 5 seconds. I'll show you that, guy, show you that one in a bit. Just go over the uh, AP ratios. Her, I did the math. The Q is about 0.75 AP ratio. Uh, surging Tides. The heal has about a uh, it's about point three ish AP ratio uh, the damage component is a point five AP ratio uh, aqueous empowerment per hit and remember this goes off three times but per hit it's a point two ratio the entire duration of the buff if all three hits hit you get a point six AP ratio on it tidal wave has uh, approximately a point eight AP ratio so uh, I will use the abilities now. First, let's start with the Q, the bubble thing. It goes like that. It hits those. They float up into the air, and uh, then they drop. It vaguely resembles Janna Tornado. Uh, surging Tide. I don't have an enemy here to show you bit bouncing around with in this game. But basically, you click it. You click on one person. It healed me. Presumably, then it would bounce to an enemy. Uh, it won't hit minions. It only works on champions, it looks like. Uh, and the last one, we have Aqueous Empowerment. I'm just going to use this. Click on myself. And then, so when I hit things, an extra little anim splash animation goes off on the enemy. And uh, so I will show you now the ultimate. Let the minions tank that for a sec. So the ultimate goes like this. And just kind of knocks them up. Um, yeah, so in terms of abilities... Uh, she kind of makes me think of like a cross between Janna, maybe a little bit of Lulu, um, hints of Sona with the W, but not really. Uh, her ult kind of is like, I guess, a cross between Janna's ult and Nautilus's ult, as weird as that sounds. And it's not exact, but it's just sort of the feeling I get about these things. Uh, so now that we have abilities out of the way, I will show you her uh, animations and lines. So let's quickly do the joke. The 
Oh, we already saw that one. There's supposed to be three, but... I'm not getting it, so... Let's go to Taunt. I believe she only has two taunts. Show the dance. Some kind of hula hoop thing. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, and finally, let's do the laugh. She doesn't really have too much of a custom recall animation, and she kind of spins there and puts her staff up. So I guess she's sort of balancing it or something. And uh, yeah, that's Nami. So there's the uh, champion preview. I will get a full game up with her when I'm actually playing her um, in a game with opponents very soon. So keep uh, your eyes peeled for that. Uh, it might take me a little bit because it's very hard to get the new champion you're playing against other people. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I'll have a lot more videos coming soon. I'm going to try and covering basically everything in this patch uh, in separate videos. So see you around. Thanks for watching.